Kitty Allen's arrest and resignation. Ultimately, this isn't about me or about us, it's about New Zealanders. Why the Prime Minister still believes Labour's in a good place to win the election. Lauren Dickerson jury set to see confession video at triple murder trial and police work through more than 100 tips in search for missing real estate agent. At Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. The Prime Minister is rejecting claims Labour's re-election hopes are in tatters after yesterday losing his fourth minister for misbehaving in less than four months. Kitty Allen's quit after being arrested following a crash on Sunday night and being charged with careless use of a vehicle and refusing to accompany a police officer. As a result, Chris Hipkins was forced to announce his fourth reshuffle of portfolios during his post-cabinet press conference yesterday. He says he felt Labour could still overcome the recent ministerial challenges and turmoil. We're just getting started with the campaign um, and we've, there's a lot more that we have to offer in the forthcoming campaign and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to set that out. The jury in Lauren Dickerson's murder trial will today hear her describe, in her own words, how she killed her children. She admits the killings, but her defence is insanity and infanticide. The court heard evidence yesterday about how she googled methods for overdosing children two months before killing her daughters. The High Court trial will watch her hour-long evidential interview with police recorded a day after the killings. Detectives are trawling through more than 120 pieces of information from the public in relation to the disappearance of Yonfei Bao. The 44-year-old real estate agent's disappearance remains a missing person investigation, but police say concern grows the longer she's missing. She was last seen door-knocking properties in Wigram on Wednesday. A 52-year-old man has been charged with kidnapping Bao, and the lead detective hasn't ruled out further charges. Auckland retailers, beset by ram raids and robberies, are also up against delays getting glass repairs done. The New Market Business Association says the area has had its fair share of vandalism and damage to property in the past year. Pressure on replacement glass supply and demand for glaziers has become a problem too, with it often taking weeks, sometimes months, to swap out broken glass. It comes as the government creates a new offence for ram raiding, which allows 12 and 13 year olds to be charged in the youth court. And a warning, Wellington's train services will be extra busy today. Greater Wellington Regional Council Transport Chair Thomas Nash says extra services will be running for the Football Ferns match against Philippines this afternoon. He says there'll be a lot of people on the trains and it'll help if people spread their travel and wait for crowds to disperse a little following the game. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.